Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the iconic Madison Square Garden here in New York for a history-making announcement, a history-making occasion. April the 30th, the undisputed Women's Lightweight World Championship live on the zone here from the mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden. The first time in 140 years of boxing and combat sport history, two females have headlined here at Madison Square Garden. This is going to be not just the biggest female fight of all time, but one of the biggest fights of all time. We're going to speak to everybody up here, of course, my co-promoter, Jake Paul, Most Valuable Promotions, Nikisa, Amanda Serrano, the seven division world champion, Katie Taylor, the undisputed lightweight world champion, Joseph Markowski from The Zone, and of course, Joel Fisher from Madison Square Garden, our partners in the event. Joel, I'll start with you. Um, Firstly, I want to say thank you so much. There feels like such great momentum and support for this event. It feels like everybody feels this is the right time to make history here. And you guys at Madison Square Garden truly well behind this event. Well, it, it absolutely is. I want to thank you, Jake, and everybody else that's been involved, Joe, um, on this promotion. Um, I really want to thank everybody out here, the press, and welcome everybody. The reception for this and the, the reaction to this fight when it's been announced has been incredible, and all you guys have been really supportive. So I really want to thank you for, for that. Um, and there's no place better to do it than Madison Square Garden. To make the history, um, Katie and, and Amanda fighting here. Um, this is a long overdue fight, um, and this is the mecca of boxing. This is where all of the the famous fighters, the, the biggest fights in the world have taken place. This is history. We are, we are talking about history here and no better place than Madison Square Garden. So I really appreciate everything all of you guys are doing. And I'm sure that the fight um, between Amanda and Katie is going gonna, is gonna to really be something else, um, something to behold. And, and as you said, it's not only just a great fight and it's history and it's, it's the fight um, you know, between two women, the first time headlining the garden, it's, it's just a great fight that people in boxing want to see. So forget about women just in general. This is just a great fight, um, and it's going to be a tremendous night. Thank you, Sal. Always a, a pleasure to be at Madison Square Garden. Sorry, Joel. And uh, Sal, I was going to say thank you to Sal as well and to Larry. Done a brilliant job this week. Joe? Um, this fight, I think, has even surprised you over the last week with the noise that it's created globally. Of course, we know Katie is a huge draw in Ireland and in England and the UK as well, and Amanda here in the US, both have headlined on, on major events around the world. But talk to us about the, the importance of this event for the zone and also you know, the, the feeling of momentum and, and true size to this historic moment. Yeah, I think for us, it's an absolutely perfect event. Um, I echo a lot of what Joel said about the quality of the fight, full stop. We, we completely support that. We, we agree with it. You've also got the two top pound for pound women's box in the world fighting one Irish, obviously for our UK and Irish business, a huge opportunity in, in, the, in the US as well. Part of a, a really strong spring schedule that hopefully we're working with yourself and our, our friends at Golden Boy to add to in the coming weeks. So uh, a huge opportunity for us, I think, a lot of noise, to Joel's point, gets made about this being a historic women's boxing event. For us, this just makes great business sense. It's a really um, a huge opportunity, I think, for the sport and women's sport more broadly to sort of stop and acknowledge and celebrate the progress that's being made um, in women's sport. Yourself uh, have been a long a match. We've been long-time supporters of that. I think, Jake, everything that you and Nikisa and MVP are doing to back this um, is going to bring um, long overdue eyeballs. We know from our broader global business outside of boxing that when the media and the industries around sport, the brands, the celebrities, everyone who touches sport gets behind women's sport, uh, eyeballs come. And when eyeballs come, they stay because the quality of the competition is uh, akin to uh, men's sport in, in, in the vast majority of cases. So we're extremely excited about it. I think there's a huge opportunity for all of us up here and the people we work with in our own businesses and outside our partners uh, to use the next two months to, to sort of push this to become a, a moment in time and a celebration. And for everyone at the zone will be working towards that in the next two months. And of course, a massive card planned as well. We saw Liam, Liam Smith against Jesse Vargas after Vargas su uh, yeah. suffered from COVID earlier. Yeah. That gets added as a chief support fight and Cruz Desern against Cedros, another undisputed 
fight as well. Big plans for the card, and, and it's going to be a huge night of boxing. If you told me that someone involved in his own boxing early doors in the US would be going to politics, I would have thought it was you. But of course, it's, it's Jesse Vargas, and he's taking a break from his uh, burgeoning political career to, to come and cut, uh, sort of come onto the card here. So a big fight, a great venue, two world-class fighters, as I say, a moment in time for all of us to, to maximize in the next two months. So looking forward to doing that with you. Thank you, Joe, and your support from the zone, of course integral in making fights like this happen. I'll go over to our promotional partners, most valuable promotions. Quite unique to be sitting here with Jake Paul after, what was it, three years ago that I promoted your... Two years. Two years ago, sorry about that. Your feels like a long time uh, promoting your professional debut. Some hold me responsible for that, <laughs> but you've come a long way since. And now with your promoter's hat on, just a, a really... Great time for most valuable promotions. I'm sure you're very proud of the work you and Nikisa have done. I'll come to Nikisa shortly and, and obviously proud of Amanda as well as we sit ahead of this historic event on April 30th. Yeah, 100%. What an honor uh, to be here at the historic Madison Square Garden. I want to give a big thanks to Jim Dolan and the entire MSG team for making history with us, for real. This is, this is awesome. And um, women have been boxing since the early 1900s, but it wasn't until 1999 that they were able to compete professionally so 23 years later here we are with one of the biggest fights ever headlined by two women at Madison Square Garden today is about Amanda and Katie the two best female boxers in the world right now they deserve this stage they deserve this historic payday and they deserve to settle who is the pound for pound best which is why I'm excited to see this fight for real but it's also about Ann Wolf. Christy Martin, Layla Ali, Mia St. John, and many other legendary boxers who helped lay the foundation for the ladies to be sitting here today. It's about Clarissa Shields, Michaela Meyer, Alicia Baumgartner, and other amazing professionals currently in the sport. And most of all, it's about the future young women and girls all over the world who will see April 30th as a moment that made the impossible possible, equality as it's meant to be. So it's an honor to be here with Eddie Hearn, uh, Matchroom to Zone, Madison Square Garden. Uh, we're grateful for Katie Taylor and her team to commit to taking this fight. And of course, most of all, we're proud to stand with Amanda Serrano, the superstar, a woman who has dedicated her whole life to boxing, doesn't have a phone. Uh, meanwhile, I'm posting TikToks all the time. And uh, now it's time to start showing you know, the, the commitment she has made and, and showing the world how important women's boxing is to people like Bob Arum, who misspoke you know, when he, he made his comments uh, earlier this week. Uh, and he's going to eat his words April 30th, and he, he's going to see how impactful this fight is. Um, so I'm excited to be here, and let's make history. Jake, for you, one, one question. I know it's very much about the, these two fighters today, but you, you clearly have fallen in love with the sport of boxing. Does this, is this important for you to give something back as well, to be part of creating history here? on April 30th? 100%. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a fight fan. I fell in love with boxing. I'm passionate about uh, boxing all, all the way around. And uh, for me, when I met Amanda Serrano and I heard her stories about how hard she's worked, I see how hard she's training and she's getting paid, you know, pennies on the dollar, uh, being taken advantage of by, by people in her career. She needed help. She needed guidance and she needed to be put on a, on a pedestal and she's a superstar and she put the work in in the gym and uh, to me, I'm excited to be promoter Paul and uh, we might be sitting next to each other, you know, a few more times in the future. So I'll, I'll always be involved in this sport and always be pushing uh, to make boxing a better place. Well, thank you for your support in this event. Nikisa, um, I know Jake comes with the platform and the noise, but you've put a lot of hard work into this. I think shout out to you and Sean Palmer particularly going backwards and forwards and really good to get this over the line. People keep asking me what it's like to work with Jake Paul and, and Most Valuable Promotions, and, and the answer was pretty seamless so far. So long may it continue, and looking forward to putting it all together April 30th. Absolutely. We feel the same way. We're excited to be sitting here with Amanda. It's all about Amanda. Jake has purposely chosen not to fight until later in the year to be able to dedicate our entire platform and energy into giving these two women the right stage and recognition that they deserve. Thank you. Thank you, Nikita. Thank you, Jake. We'll start with what doesn't feel right calling you the challenger for this fight, Amanda, because of everything you've, you've achieved. But this fight really has been bubbling for two, three years now. 
now it's finally here and I think one of the greatest achievements is we made it at the right time. Maybe then it was too early. You know, we wouldn't have been main event, Madison Square Garden, main arena, you know, the, the money that's available for, for both fighters, this is it. This is the moment in time where the world will stop to watch two great female fighters fight for the Undisputed Championship. You're definitely right, and I have to thank my, um, my coach, Jordan Maldonado, for not, um, you know, not accepting the, you know, the first couple of fights and, and keep going back and forth, and he knows what I was worth, and, you know, and now we're working with MVP, and they know exactly how, what we're worth as well, and timing couldn't be better than right now, you know. Happy National um, Girl and Woman in Sports Day, which is today, couldn't be a better day than to do all this press. And yeah, women, we're, we're changing the sport, and I'm super happy, I'm super glad, and um, honored to share the ring with Katie Taylor. She's a great champion, and we're gonna prove who's the pound for pound best, because everyone's been asking for it. <laughs> I know there's a, there's a lot of respect between you two, sometimes a few back and forths over the years as well, but make no mistake, you're coming here with bad intentions and, and looking, looking to end this fight inside the distance. That's what you do. You know, you have heavy hands, you're very exciting, as is Katie, we can only expect a tremendous fight on April 30th. Yeah, nothing changed. I'm still Amanda, the real deal Serrano. And um, you know, I don't need to um, talk bad about any of my opponents. I do all my talking inside the ring. Um, I respect Katie Taylor, what she's done. She's open, between you and her, you guys open the doors for women's boxing. And now look, we're headlining MSG. So there's gonna be no bad words between us, but in the ring is something different. <laughs> and finally, if, if someone would have said to you a few years ago that you know, you'd be headlining <laughs> this arena, main arena, Madison Square Garden, for this type of money and this kind of attention, this kind of legacy. It seems like this was a million miles away. I mean, you know, Katie was, you were doing it before Katie in the pro game. I'm sure the struggle was, was incredible back then. But this is really just the moment where all your hard work, and not just yours, but all female fighters that Jake talked about as well, it all comes together to show them that the world will change on this yeah. night. No, 13 years I've been a professional. Um, every other day I wanted to quit. The struggle was, the struggle was real. I never, never um, had an easy way out of it. I mean, in the game, and never did I imagine making the money I'm making today and headlining Madison Square Garden. Like, are you serious? You know, there, it wasn't, not even a thought. And look, we're changing the game. Like now, younger girls in the sport can be like, I can, I want to be just like those girls. I want to headline the Garden. Now there's hope for them. We never had that hope, Ben. I'm excited to open those doors. Thank you, Amanda. We uh, go over to the, the champion, the undisputed world champion, Katie. I think it was like seven years ago, you were in my office with Brian, trying to tell me that you know, we could do something in women's yeah. boxing. I didn't believe you at the time, but your passion, your love, your drive made me come along yeah. for the ride, and what a ride it's been. You know, if we would have sat there at that moment and said one day, you'd be headlining. You might have believed it, but I wouldn't have, and many didn't. And this is the moment, the moments that, that you live for. Yeah, exactly. I think um, ever since I turned pro, I've had my eyes fixed on uh, two fights. Uh, one was for Zoom, and the other one was Serrano. And so this is a fight that I've been looking forward to for quite some time now. Um, I feel like since the fight has been announced a couple of weeks ago, I'm nearly sitting back just reflect on these last few years. and. It's incredible how far the sport has actually gone and in the in the five short years where we're actually um, headlining uh, the Mecca box of Madison Square Garden. It's been uh, called the biggest fight in female boxing history. This is such a privilege to be, to be part of such an historic moment. This is history right here and um, all, all of our hard work is, is, has been uh, all paid off on this night. This is gonna be a career to find a night. I remember going back to when you debuted at Wembley. Mm -hmm. You know, people just, they weren't sure, were they? Like for years we've been banging the drum and I've just said, just watch mm. Katie Taylor, watch these elite females. Mm. It's not about female boxing, it's not about men's boxing, mm. it's just about boxing. Yeah. And, and this event already in these last few days feels like people talking about this fight as mm. a major fight, mm. not female fight. I remember we joke about my idea where I came to you a few years ago and said, I'm gonna headline you on an all female card. And that wasn't really your yeah. vision, was it? It was just yeah. about, the, the perception of equality for great fights. Yeah, that, that's it. Um, I think this fight genuinely is the most exciting fight in the sport, not just in female boxing, but in, in uh, boxing as a whole. And not, not just, just because of our records, but I believe that um, our styles will, will gel well together. It's going to be produce a fantastic fight for the fans. This really is the best fight, uh, fight in boxing right now. And it's not about female boxing or, or male boxing. This is just boxing. This is uh, top class boxing. And um, 
Yeah, so th this is why, exactly why we're here. And we also know you two are fierce competitors. There's a lot of respect. Mm -hmm. We're all here celebrating the fact that mm -hmm. this is even happening, but we know when you go back to the gym, still quite a long way to go, mm -hmm. but you and her, Amanda, will be desperate for victory on April 30th. I know what a winner you are, what a competitor you are. You have to retain those belts here. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we're, we're both uh, great champions, and um, she has a great record. There's no doubt about it. She's a great fighter. Uh, we're going to be, if both step into the ring and fight, and I uh, believe that we're both going to come out victorious. But um, I do believe that when you look down the list of our opponents, uh, you'll see recognizable names on my resume. You'll see the likes of McCaskill, uh, the likes of Pursun, um, the likes of Jonas, um, among others. And you'll also see um, a top class amateur boxer as, as an amateur as well. Um, so I have been tested, I have been refined in the fire, and I believe that we'll stand, stand to be in a fight that uh, is competitive. So we're both going to go in in the best shape possible and uh, may the best fighter win. Well, thank you, Katie. Thank you. Amanda, tickets will go on sale this week. We expect to fill up the garden completely. As I said to Joe earlier, an unbelievable undercard being planned for April 30th already. Jesse Vargas, two-division world champion, will take on Liam Smith from Liverpool. The undisputed super middleweight world championship between Cruz de Zern and Sederus also on the card, as well as many, many more. And from our side, from Matram, from all of our team, we want to thank everybody for their support. This feels like a really iconic moment for the world of boxing, a moment that a lot of us have worked very hard towards. Thank you, Jake, as well, for all your hard work to get this over the line. The keys are most valuable promotions. But most of all, as Jake said, to those great fighters that have come before them. But for now, we celebrate Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor, who will make history here at Madison Square Garden, April 30th, live on the zone. Do not miss it. We will have a head-to-head -head here and everyone available for the media. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you.